Hi there. This is Swami and you're watching the Genesis YouTube channel. Today we'll be seeing a variant of a very well-known problem in which three particles are pursuing each other. The curves that result are called pursuit curves. Today's problem goes like this. At t is equal to 0, three particles are located at the vertices of an equilateral triangle ABC whose side length equals L. They all start moving simultaneously with constant speed V with the particle at A heading continuously to the one at B, the one at B for the one at C and the one at C for the one at A. The path that results is shown in this diagram. So the particle A travels in a path like this. At every instant, its velocity is directed towards B. B's velocity is directed towards C. C's is directed towards A, so on and so forth. This is quite a well-known problem. Now here, in this question, we will take the centroid as the origin and the line passing through A as the initial line. And now we look at this variant problem in which there are around 10 parts. Find the polar equation of the path of the particles. That is, find the equations for these paths that the particles take till before they collide. Where do the particles meet? Of course, B is very clear from the diagram itself. By symmetry considerations also, you can show that they will meet at the centroid of the triangle. C. How much time do they take to meet? D. Now this part, you will have to think a little bit. How many times do the particles revolve around the centroid before they all meet? That is, if this is the centroid, if a particle goes like this and completes one turn like this, then how many such turns will its path have? How many times will it revolve around the origin or the centroid before actually meeting with the other particles? Part E. What is the magnitude of displacement of each particle? Quite straightforward. F, what is the distance traveled by each particle? G, what is the magnitude of average velocity of each particle? H, what is the magnitude of average speed of each particle? Till here, it's quite standard and you should be able to do till H very easily. Now, for the part that actually will require some amount of work from you. At t is equal to 0, find the magnitude of tangential acceleration of the particles. Second, the magnitude of normal acceleration of the particles. Third, the magnitude of total acceleration of the particle and the radius of curvature of the particle's path. For this, I would suggest that you see the video of the angular speed of velocity vector. The link to this video is on the top. The ideas developed there will be useful here. That is exactly the reason I solved that question in the way that I did. Finally, at t is equal to L by 3v, find the magnitude of the tangential acceleration of the particle, magnitude of the normal acceleration of the particles, magnitude of the total acceleration and the radius of curvature of the particle's path. You have 24 hours to solve this question. You can write your answers in the comment. See you in the next video with the solution to this very interesting variant of the triangle problem. Till then, as always, stay safe and stay healthy you all.